Sorry, little man. It's too cold today. Come on. So it's 8 a.m. Saturday morning. Tofu is not allowed outside today because it's only 24 degrees. The rule is actually he's not allowed out unless it's over 40 degrees. And even then I'll kind of let it slide if I think it's gonna be over 40 degrees at some point during the day. So today we are headed back to Manhattan's Upper East Side. We're photographing a dentist's office, not for sale, not for rent, but we're actually doing it because he needs pictures for his website. Off we go. It's 24 degrees and it's actually so cold that I don't want to hold this tripod. It's freezing. Yeah, I gotta figure out if there's a way to hold this. It is so cold. I think that every New Yorker should have a subway station that they absolutely hate. For whatever reason, they should just hate it. And Fulton is the station that I hate. Here's why. So we're at the corner of 60th and Lexington, and the dentist office is on 61st. So it's a super easy walk. I was able to meet with the dentist a couple days before the shoot talk about the shots he needed, talk about the props he would have to buy, like flowers. Hopefully, he's actually there now cleaning up. I've actually been to this building before because I photographed a doctor's office that was uh, for sale a long time ago. But it's funny how once you start doing real estate in New York City, you actually do end up going back to the same buildings over and over and over. Different units for different agents. All right, here we are. done shooting with Dr. Mark. It was actually a great shoot. I don't do a lot of shoots like this. Most of my shoots are real estate. And then I also have a bunch of architecture and design shoots. But this, I don't even know what this technically would be called. Basically, it's just, you know, shots of his space for his website. It was really cool to see his face light up when he would see the pictures on the iPad and know that his version on the phone was a great place to start. But I could take it to the next level with my gear. And then also, you know, a lot happens when you stage. A lot of things change when you clean up a space. So I think it was fun for him to see someone who actually took the time to rotate plants. Okay, what's my point? You know, aside from the actual physical gear that I'm bringing to the shoot, there's also, you know, a sense of styling and staging that I don't think he had. And the guy is an artist, don't get me wrong. Dentists are very precise people. And that was actually fun to see how he was uh, calculating everything in his mind in terms of angles and stuff like that. It was neat. It was fun working with him because he's very nerdy. He reminded me a lot of my dad, who was a research chemist. My dad was very precise, very methodical. And I definitely appreciate that when I'm working. So we are at the corner of Lexington and 61st, and I'm kind of hungry. So I, I think it makes sense for me to get something to eat. Question is, what? All right, so I actually ate at this restaurant the other day. So I think this is where we're gonna go. All right, so comment down below if you know how to say that word.
I had a bowl of pho and some summer rolls and strangely enough, some, a Thai iced tea. I did think it was funny that the table next to me asked for a bowl of miso soup. It kind of reminded me of the time that when I adopted my son, he didn't understand that Thai food was actually a, a different country. He just thought it was fancy Chinese food. So now I'm actually gonna head over to Bloomingdale's. There are some Byredo fragrances that I'm interested in, and I generally need to smell them like four or five times before I decide. I mean, they're not cheap. And the one thing that's nice about Bloomingdale's fragrance section is that you're not being harassed by salespeople the entire time. You can actually test them without being bombarded by salespeople. So we're gonna go to Bloomingdale's and smell stuff. So the two contenders are Eyes Closed and Mixed Emotions. Comment down below if I should get Eyes Closed or Mixed Emotions. There's one more stop I want to make and I have absolutely no business being in the store, but it's, it's right over there. So, I mean, I kind of feel like I'm obligated to go there. Okay, so we just left, I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's Laderach, 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 Laderach. All right, so I bought three, six, nine. These were $2 each, but these are fucking amazing. Totally worth two dollars. So we're at 59th Street. We're gonna take the four or the five back down to Fulton Station. So I'm back in Bed Stuy, and I'm headed home. Tofu is already home, so I don't have, so I don't have to film the whole fine tofu segment. Truth is, I don't know how to end a video without a fine tofu segment. You like it? Tofu likes it. Black saffron. Tofu, <clears throat> are you mad at me that I didn't let you out today? You know that it's 32 degrees out, right? You know that it snowed today, right? Are you mad at me? You know I love you, right? So now we're going to talk about my photo shoot with Dr. Mark Lazar. Dr. Mark Lazar is a dentist who has a private practice on the Upper East Side. And I'm not exactly sure how he found me. I'm pretty sure it was an agent who was a friend of the receptionist at Dr. Mark's office. I honestly don't remember how they got in touch with me. Needless to say, it's been a great relationship. So yeah, these are the shots of Dr. Mark Lazar's office. So this is a shift stitch showing one of his procedure rooms. This is our top shot. This is our middle shot. This is our bottom shot. And then this is the final shot. We replaced the monitor with a stock photo of something just very serene. What's really interesting about this shot is he specifically wanted these portraits of his family in the photo. If this was a real estate shoot, we would actually remove anything personal, like family photos from the shot. This is the hallway where they have some of their medical equipment. Uh, top shot, middle shot, bottom shot, and then the and then the finish shot. It's a very clean space, which, I mean, it's a medical facility, so it should be clean. What I really like about the shot is there's a lot of information there that I was able to capture by using the shift stitch. This is a shift stitch of the reception area, looking onto one of his two outdoor spaces. 
So that's our top shot, that's our middle shot, that's our bottom shot. I'm gonna wait for the siren. Okay, so this is the delivered shot and it shows the, the view through the door onto the outdoor space. And then we have the monitor replaced with just a really nice stock photo of a waterfall. This is the shot from the waiting area looking onto where the receptionist sits. That's our top shot. That's our middle shot. That's our bottom shot. And then that is our finished shot. It's a nice shot. So that was my shoot with Dr. Lazar. I actually do really like Dr. Lazar. And I feel if you don't have a dentist in New York City, he's someone that you should look into. He's a really good guy. His staff are really good people. It's been a lot of fun working with him. Yay. Yay. Yay.